Good afternoon, everyone. This is such a special event for all the pupils at this exceptional school, especially for the year eight on our final day at prep school. Standing up here today, I feel very proud to have been given the opportunity to attend this amazing school. I made many memories and some true friends there. As Pooh said to Piglet, anyone can show up when you are happy, but the ones who stay by your side when your heart falls apart, they're your true friends. On behalf of all of year eight, we'd like to say a massive thank you and goodbye to everyone who has helped us through our transformational journey here at Milford Prep. Representing year eight, we as the heads of school would like to say a few words in our own special way. Having been here for 10 years, I should have a lot to say, but standing here now, I feel a little lost for words. So I'm glad I wrote something down. <coughs> Joking. <laughs> I joined in free prep as a tadpole, grew into a frog, and now, in year eight, I think I'm ready to hop on to a new lily pad. Throughout our journey here, we have made lots of memories and we would like to share our first ones with you. I joined Millfield Prep at the beginning of year two and you're about to hear about my first day. I was six years old and had an early start traveling from Devon. I arrived at the pre-prep super excited for the day ahead and it was to be a busy day of times tables, cupcake making and storytelling. By the end of the tour, I was exhausted. We went to match teas where I saw a huge pile of brownies that looked delicious. I thought this place is truly amazing. I sat down with a brownie on my plate, but before I could eat it, I fell asleep and the plate slipped off my lap and smashed onto the floor. Mrs. Shayla began, begin, began to pick up the pieces. My poor mum went white, not the first impression she had hoped for. Since then, many of you who know me well will know I've continued to sleep at any opportunity, being courtside, pool deck, a recent athletics meet, or once or twice in the library. I will always remember the school productions. In year two, we performed Pinocchio, and Grace, acting as an old woman, lost her voice on performance night. For me, there's been plenty of variety. I've been a duck, an elephant, a cat and on multiple occasions an angel with a tinsel halo and a bedsheet for a dress. I've also been a zombie and even a dancing leaf. But finally this year in Mary Poppins I progressed into a real human. The very independent Mrs Banks who supported Votes for Women. I think of Millfield Prep like a sweet shop. Instead of jars of different sweets there are bags of, of opportunities and I'm pleased to say that I've made the most of them all. Most people think of me as a swimmer, but I'm also a netballer, a flautist and a hockey player. I've been a cross-country runner, a tennis player, a fencer, a chess player, unbelievable I know, a biathlete, a thrower and a horse rider. The list goes on. I've tried them all and that's what you should do. Don't just stick to the sweets you like, just go for a big bag of pick a mix. I've learned some useful life skills along the way. Cooking, sewing, welding and chiselling might come in useful, but I'm sure learning to manage my time with conflicting commitments, make conversation with governors and other scary people, <laughs> and carrying on activities with whatever the weather will serve me well. So credit to the sports teachers, although they do always seem to have 15 more layers on than me. We have learned to overcome fears, Another life skill. Let's just say Year 7 camp was quite frightening when I crawled into the entrance of an extremely dark cave, which was a struggle as I am so tall. I was terrified, but with the help and support of friends and teachers, I got to the end and survived my first cave experience. I have very recently learnt to overcome adversity. A couple of weeks ago, on the 13th of June, I tried a new sport, hurdles. Probably not the best idea with size 10 feet and dodgy coordination. It was all going so well until I caught my foot. I fell to the ground like a great oak tree and hit the floor with a thud. 
Despite the pain, I laughed it off, only to discover the next day that I fractured my elbow. So as you can see, I have given this school my all, even my left arm. <laughs> Whilst we're very busy with our academic work, we still have time for lots of fun. For example, our netball team are really close, and we have a lot of laughs together. We went to nationals on several occasions, then karaoke together in crazy outfits. We went to the World Netball Games in Loughborough for three days, but one of the things that made it amazing was a special someone always baking personalised cupcakes for every tournament, so even if we lost, it gave us something to smile about. Our whole netball team would like to say a special thank you to the groundsmen who cleared our courts of snow in the early hours of the morning so that our tournament could still take place. Another thanks goes to the wonderful cleaners and support staff who make our lives at school shine. Other great people are the nurses and the medical centre. After 10 years here, I'm on pretty good terms with them and I know that I'm always welcome for a glass of water and a strepsil if I ever need one. But of course, we couldn't do anything without our brilliant teachers and coaches, who are more than just that. We will miss you terribly. My mum did make me promise to say thank you to all the parents who have helped her out, dropping me home after school, matches and clubs. She also wants to say thank you for the fabulous match tees. Ten years of sampling them, we can confirm that Millfield preps are the best. I know that we are both going to miss this place. And finally, I want to thank my parents and especially my brother, as Millfield Prep was Tyler's choice. He, w he chose well, because without his good choice, I wouldn't be standing up here today. My time at Millfield Prep has been unforgettable, and my final message to all of you today is to make the most of every opportunity and to always be grateful, as there are many people around the world who would love to come here. And my tips, top tips for you all is to take the art department stairs to the top floor. It saves you walking a whole set of steps. Don't stand too close to Mr. Close in assembly, <laughs> unless you have some earplugs. <laughs> <laughs> and always remember to have a growth mindset. <laughs> Sorry everyone for the delay. I would just like a stool to be seen on my final day. Today, we will talk to you a bit about boarding and our time at Milford Prep. Being a boarder has taught us a lot of valuable skills, particularly independence. With our parents living over 7,000 kilometers away, we have been forced to tackle certain tasks differently, such as homework, physical and mental well-being, and organisation. We genuinely couldn't have done it without the support of the MPS community, our group tutors, teachers, coaches and of course our house parents. We take our hats off to you. Dealing with around 30 ludicrous kids must certainly have its moments. For example, when some of the chestnut boys were caught fencing with water bottles after lights out. Or when a certain individual from Manor accidentally hit the house parent during a pillow fight. <laughs> However, all the house parents do such an excellent job for all of us boarders. We are also well supported by our unsung heroes, the matrons, who have the joys of dealing with all the really stinky socks and mug cake PE kit. Another thing that is great about this school is that we have met people from all around the UK and all around the world. This brings opportunities to develop many different kinds of friendships. For example, we've had doormates from Russia, China, Hong Kong, Falklands, Australia, Nigeria, Isle of Man, Ireland, Guernsey, and of course, Wales, Scotland, and England. We could go on about how Milford Prep has a large international community but I think you get the idea. 
Another value that we have gained at this school, which I know many of you can relate to, is resilience. Whether it's bouncing back from a tough defeat. Being persuaded to read and read and read. I'm only joking, Miss Hughes. Mastering an algebra equation. Grappling with plate tectonics. Learning a new piece of music. Or waking up for an early morning swimming session when it's cold and dark and no other living creature on the planet is conscious. <laughs> we can all experience that horrible feeling of self-doubt. But we have known that when this has happened for us, our friends, family, teachers and coaches have always been there by our sides to support us and to help us get through the tough times. An example of this was last September, when I managed to fracture some bones in my hand. I recovered fairly quickly, only to rip a ligament in my thumb a few days later. Both of these incidents happened whilst playing rugby, a sport I absolutely love, but now with a hint of caution. As a result, I couldn't do a swimming session for seven weeks and couldn't play rugby for even longer. This meant that starting up again in January was extremely difficult. I went from being a regional champion to not even winning a single county race. I found this quite hard and heartbreaking and soul destroying. But my knowledge of old Millfieldians, such as James Guy and Rio Kurahura, who had been in the same shoes that I was, and knowing that they had persevered and succeeded was very inspiring and, re and reassuring for me. It kept me motivated and kept me going. My first memory was when I joined in year six. I was at the pre-season rugby course and I suddenly heard a booming voice from behind the hedge. I walked round to see a huge six foot six giant leading the session. I thought, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> but it turns out that Mr Guthrie is a very gentle giant after all. <laughs> later that day, when I arrived at Manor, the best house, you can pay me later, Mr Close. <laughs> I was excited, and I settled in a matter of seconds. I had left my parents in a flash. This excitement hasn't changed since. My parents knew I was going to be okay quite early on, when my dad flew over, when my dad flew over from Dubai especially, to take me out for the weekend. I had asked him to drop me back to Manor as soon as possible, as I didn't want to miss a party in the house. <laughs> Sorry, Mum and Dad. During my boarding life, there have been many funny and lasting memories. These include, number one, sleeping through a 3 a.m. fire alarm. My housemates had to rush in, and they found me tucked up and sound asleep in my bed. Number two, someone putting a croissant in a toaster, nearly burning down a premier room when we were on tour. <laughs> and number three, walking from Edgarly Manor as far as the bridge, before I realised I still had my slippers on. <laughs> I would like to think I've come on a bit since then, but I know others may disagree. Us Manor boys would also like to say a huge thank you to Mr Gooby, who is sadly leaving Edgarly Manor after 19 years of sufferance. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for your special celebrations in football matches and for your legendary pancakes and popcorn. And finally, I'll always remember Mr Close's three rules. Be kind, be kind, be kind. We won't keep you much longer as we know you want to get back to watch the cricket. But finally, we would like to thank everyone for a great Milford Prep experience. To all those remaining at our wonderful school, we, would, we advise you to make the most of every opportunity. Start somewhere and don't worry about being cool. Clearly I didn't. <laughs> so if there's one piece of advice I take from my scary swim coach back in Hong Kong, it's this. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great.
It is hard to believe that today we are leaving our prep school. I treat this situation like a football club. For me and all of the year eights, it's time to move on from Millfield Prep FC and find a new club to start the next chapter of our journey through life. A word of advice to all of you who will follow in our footsteps. Listen, don't just hear, act on advice, make mistakes, learn from them and follow your dreams. If you follow these steps, you will go far. On behalf of Year 8, we thank MPS for all that it has taught us. We wish the next generation of the Millfield Prep team the best of luck on your journey in this amazing school. Millfield Prep is a special place and we will miss it very much indeed. Dear past, thank you for the lessons. Dear future, we are ready. Thank you.